California suffering salmon getting some help to survive a man-made boost a decade in the making and a much needed assist from Mother Nature. Thanks for staying with us at 530. I'm Curtis Mang. And I'm Elizabeth Kling. Our news is also streaming live on CBS and Sacramento. CBS 13's Renee Santos joins us live along the American River with some good news for this year's salmon run. Renee. Yeah, this new ladder allows people to see the fish from up above, but also through these windows. You can see them moving through the water here. Now, this new system also gives fish access to natural habitat. They've been lost. They've been away from for so long, promote, promoting more spawning. It's part of the American River that's now accessible to salmon just in time for this year's run. Now salmon have a little bit more room to do what comes naturally. But why does this matter? Chuck Bonham, director of the Department of Fish and Wildlife, says it promotes spawning. Gives them a little bit more natural area in the American River to lay birth to the new eggs and start the cycle of life again. The lack of rain and snow has threatened the survival of salmon, impacting the fishing industry. So did the recent storm save this year's salmon run? Chuck says not quite, but it did help. Now, we love that rain we just got. But we're going to need a whole heck of a lot more. But it is giving salmon a break. The cool rain is helping lower water temperatures and boost low flows. John McManus is the president of the Golden State Salmon Association. Our hope is that fish that return to the hatcheries will actually have a uh, successful spawn. The hatcheries are able to keep the water a little bit cooler. And on the other hand, we still will have salmon coming in out of the ocean. To help this season, the hatchery is planning to raise 500,000 additional baby fall run Chinook. Bill Templin says anything that helps salmon spawning and survival is needed. These fish could spawn naturally upstream as well. So this is great. It's, it's, everybody loves to see salmon in the wild. Now, project officials here say it also creates a more reliable and easier system for workers, not to mention new learning opportunities for people here out in the community. All day we've seen people watching those fish from up above, and we actually have some down here, a family here, that are watching the fish swim by right here through these windows.